Welcome to Trader TV at Phil's, your insight into institutional trading. I'm Dan Barnes. Joining me today is Carl James, Global Head of Fixed Income at S&P Global Market Intelligence. And we're going to be talking about how the firm's fixed income offering is evolving. Carl, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. Good to be here again. And what's your picture of the fixed income market today? How does it look? We're in a very exciting space. And I do see that the fixed income markets are going to go on this accelerated trajectory of innovation. There's a number of themes that I think we've kind of been holding back a bit. We've looked across at equities and they've done some interesting things over the years. Fixed income, we're going to T plus one. We've seen some digital bonds being issued. S&P, global market intelligence, are going to be right in the middle of that. We're going to help drive that innovation in every way that we can. And how will a fixed income trader see S&P global market intelligence is offering evolving? Increasingly, we're listening to and engaging with our clients on our primary issuance platform, which is investor access. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got 600 plus clients on the platform. We want to engage with them, plus the broader market. We understand that primary issuance is a difficult workflow. Multiple systems, they're dealing with multiple funds in you know, a very complex market that sometimes can be quite volatile. Yeah. We're looking to make sure we are front and center of helping them reduce the complexity of the workflow. Now to do that, We've got to engage in partnerships, we've got to collaborate, and we've got to invest in interoperability. The other element will be an evolving set of analytics. We've started a project where we're looking at predictive analysis within the primary issuance space. We have a huge bank of data going back years. Now, what we're able to do is look at data in a particular way and then overlay it with the client's specific data, and then you have predictive analysis based on their specific circumstances. Now, that to me is really powerful. Yeah. And what we'd like to do is talk to both buy and sell side so that they can look at that and say, yep, interesting, but have you thought of this dimension yep. or a different structure as well? If you link that with some interoperability, if you link that with collaboration with other market participants as well, that's hugely powerful. Data is going to be a key differentiator. There's no question of that. So what you have to do is just make sure that the data you've got gives you a unique view of the particular area that you're looking to engage in and trade in. Very good. So what would actually change then for a buy side trader? From a primary issuance perspective, we know that the buy side have got optionality of how and where they execute that business. What S&P Global Market Intelligence are looking to do is to provide a functionality on our platform that draws people to it. We want to offer them the data analysis so they can make some interesting decisions off the back of that, both pre, during and post, which I think is an element of best execution, which hasn't really been addressed in the primary issuance space. I want to be able to demonstrate to the buy side that we're offering a holistic place to execute their primary business yep. that allows them to seamlessly push those orders through and collapse it down. It's really just about making sure we understand the real nuances of each individual. So we need to engage with them more and more. And if a buy side firm wants to collaborate with S&P Global Market Intelligence on this, what should they do next? Just reach out to us. Whether they're on our platform or not is kind of immaterial. What we want to do is engage with our clients and potential clients and really understand what it is they're trying to figure out. Is it interoperability? Is it connectivity? Is it about the collection of data? Is it about threading all of those together? We run a number of roundtables where we invite people to come along and we just want them to discuss what it is that they are really dealing with, they're finding difficult for both primary and secondary. There's a wealth of things that we're looking to do within S&P. My role here is to look to make that happen and engage with our clients very closely. That's great. Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to thank Carl for his insights today and of course you for watching. Don't forget to catch up on Trader TV this week at 6.45 a.m. UK time every Monday and go to our website tradertv.net for our other shows.